Now here's my setup for cutting my uh, Lexan. It's not plexiglass. I got a little education today. Plexiglass is much more brittle. And so this is Lexan, and I went 3 16 instead of quarter. It's plenty stiff. I got my tape laid down, and uh, I got two kind of extra support boards here because this piece is only 36 inches long. And I took my uh, previous cutout here for the uh, plywood, laid it on here, and gave myself an idea where I was going to cut. Now what you can see here is I've got an X, which is, which is uh, the bottom corner, and then it comes up to here, giving me about an inch from the top and about an inch from the bottom. And on my screen here, I can see that X. So you can see on my screen here, I'm able to zoom in, in and out with this new feature here. And I can find that X, and I'm going to anchor it as close as I can to that point. So right about there, kind of making sure that it's that this bottom edge is parallel with my with my plexi or my lexan lexan. So I'm going to place it there, and you can see how close it got, which is good. I'm, I'd rather cheat down a little this way than the other, and now I should be able to cut. I'm going to make a um, a once around with the air cut to make sure that I'm, I'm good but if I am I'll go ahead and cut it and come back and show you the results so these, I'm going to save these shapes they could be uh, kind of useful layout tools and then the other thing is I cut uh, full depth cut, quarter inch bit, 3 16 thick. Now I can see that I did get through all the way through on some parts here, so I'm going to just cut that with my knife and uh, free it up and then I'll compare it to my uh, plywood. Just give me a One other thing I'll tell you, when I was cutting this, um, the shaper said it detected tape movement. This was in here like this, but it kind of got skewed a little bit. So I had to remove these and uh, then was able to finish up the outside cut without any problem. It's a perfect match. That's good. Now you can see on my plywood here that I've got these layouts where the shelves are going to go. And these ovals circles should be just below those lines and that one is so was that and then this one is about in the center which is also good so I'm going to cut my grooves for the plexiglass and I referenced off the back edge so that I could do the platform uh, at the same time and get, get make sure that these were uh, equidistant from the back so that turned out pretty good. The only thing is now I've got to uh, extend these a little bit and uh, finish out that rounded area that's left by the uh, saw blade. So I'll do that next, then I'll give it a test fit here before I go to work on the shelves. Alright, a couple things here. I just did, did this, finished up with this groove. The depth is good. The width is good because once I take this paper off, it'll fit a little easier. It's just a little short on this end. What I'm going to do is, because this angle is this way, I'm just going to knock these corners off a little bit with my uh, block plane, and that'll give me the ability to drop it in there and then I'll kind of shift it from side to side just a little bit. So I've got just that little bit of wiggle room there. That looks good. It's nice when things go together the way they're supposed to. Looks really good. With just a little hand pressure I can I can get everything snug. Looks good in the back as well as the front. So I'm very happy with that. 
Now what I need to do, I guess, is figure out how I'm going to install these shelves. You can't see the lines, but the, the, the shelf, it comes out here about a half inch above this, half inch above that, and then that's, that's that. And then this one there is no shelf above it. So just the two pieces to fit in there. So far, so good. Okay, I've kind of reached a critical juncture here of my assembly. And two things I, I need to work out are the, the lighting inside, uh, that's going to be a big one, and then laying out my, my holes on the side here for keeping score. So th from what I've seen, you can have as many as four people playing, so there's four rows of holes. And the unique part about this game is that it starts at zero and get the uh, end of the game is 40, but you can also go backwards. So there's a minus, up to a minus 10. So you have a zero line down to minus 10 up to 40. So I've laid out a pattern on a piece of paper that, that will get me what I want. This is four and three quarter wide, four rows of... Uh, uh, holes here, five eighths of an inch apart, this this way, up, and then I believe it's seven eighths of an inch this way. So I'm going to lay that. I'm going to lay those out and uh, drill it. I'm going to put it on the right side because most of the people in our family are right-handed. After you come up to the to the board or the game to get your retrieve the bags. Um, you're going to naturally want to reach here to put your score in with your right hand. So uh, that's what I'm going to I'm going to do this next. I want to lay out the holes and get those drilled and uh, execute that. Okay, laying out the uh, holes for my uh, scoreboard basically. What I've done here is with this ruler and because these are five eighths of an inch apart this way and I believe it's about seven eighths the other way. Hang on here. Uh, it's uh, kind of an oddball number. Just shy of seven eighths. At any rate, what I've done here is this is going to be minus ten. This is zero. So, and then, yeah, so. Minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zero line here. And then on up, I just uh, basically marked every ten spots. And it worked out that this is two inches from the bottom and inch and seven eighths from the top. I'm not going to worry about that eighth of an inch. Basically, I don't think anybody's going to get up here when they when they won the game. They're not going to put their peg up at the top anyway. They're just going to call it call it good. So what I need to do is be able to establish this line here, which I will with I'll I'll make a pencil mark, and then I will uh, put my template on here, use my tri square, and run uh, one line up for for my. Uh, Vert, my vertical line and then my horizontal lines I'll just do that once as well and what I want to be able to do though is index this on my drill press four times or be able to index it this direction but then do four holes so I'll have spacers in here to uh, remove and keep these in line and that way I don't have to move my fence so that my my vertical line is is uh, is good. 